spoiler alert, these are the pads, in particular the D, and I believe we look at the F, uh, pads that we talk about in this video, and as you can see they're nice and tidy. These are installed and seated, um, and as I'll talk about in the video, if you start off with a pad that's slightly snug fit in the key cup, it does tighten up during the pad seating process, uh, probably due to the heat, and uh, you end up with just a really nice, tidy looking pad like we've got here. So these are the actual pads that I show you in the video that you're about to watch. Uh, installed in a saxophone that I am currently overhauling. Hey, my name is Matt Storr and I repair saxophones for a living. And today I'd like to talk to you about saxophone pad sizing, specifically the diameter of a pad that goes in a pad cup. And I'll show you what I think good pad fit looks like um, and also explain why it can vary from one horn to the next, from one pad to the next, and why pad sets are maybe not such a great idea. Um, although obviously if you're just trying to get Pads for a particular type of pads for one horn, um, you can't go ahead and you know stock all the pads that someone like me has, but there's a very definite benefit to having a pad selection like I do, and I'll show you why. So, first of all, I'll talk about what I think a good pad fit looks like. Um, hopefully, your pads are good quality and they are round. Um, they are sized in either 30 seconds of an inch or half millimeters, and pads being made of felt wrapped in leather and cardboard they're not exact one to the next, right? I mean, you can't really make a thousand of those that are all the same measurement, right? They're gonna be a little bit different. Some are gonna be a little lumpy, some are gonna be a bit bigger than others, some are gonna be a bit smaller. So say, for instance, you've got a 50.5, it's 50.5 millimeter pad, right? Um, and you get 10 of those. They're gonna measure in a range between, say, 50.2 and 50.8. And the pad cups that you are putting these into um, should be all uniform, but especially if you're working on old saxes, um, someone might have scraped the edges, they might have gotten misformed at some point, and the sizes aren't going to all be exactly the same, although it would be nice if they were. So when I'm putting together a pad set, what I do is I actually just test fit pads till I find one that fits the way I like. Um, and that's one of the reasons that I don't do pad sets. When people ask me what measurements are, that's why I don't have them, because I actually individually fit every pad. And the pad fit that I think is good is a bit snug. Now when we look at this, if I'm not applying any pressure, you can see it's actually sitting a bit proud of that pad cup. It doesn't fit exactly in there. But if I go ahead and just snug it down, you can see the skin is a little bit loose. But when I am when I actually seat this pad, that skin is going to tighten up from the heat that I apply on the back to um, heat the shellac. And also, I can use a pad slick if I want to. And I'll show you what a pad slick looks like. Let's see. So these are some of the pad slicks I use. So what I'll do is I'll heat this and apply this here and show you how that tightens up that uh, skin there. And pad fit, if you have it too tight, then the felt is going to buckle. And this felt will um, shrink down a little bit when we apply heat to it. Okay, look at that. Isn't that pretty nice? Now, it's still a little tiny bit loose, but when there's a resonator holding this down, and when you heat it up with the shellac in the back, and then you iron the pad, it ends up being tight as a drum. And you can see there's just no gap around the edges. And that's super important, because if there's any gap here, then when you heat up the adhesive, it's going to go ahead and flow towards that gap and want to squirt out the sides. And that makes it really difficult to seat a pad. When you've got a pad that is nice and snug like this, it's really actually pretty easy to seat them. You just heat it, and as long as you've got everything in the correct orientation, when you heat it, the paddle sort of naturally settle into the position it needs to be into, and you've got a really firm base that doesn't wiggle back and forth, um, and it's much easier to seat the pad. So that is the kind of pad fit I like. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this, and I'll show you one size down pops in a lot easier, right, and looks pretty good to start with, but look at that edge there. You see some places it touches, like here, looks like it's pretty snug, but then around here and the top, it's definitely not. And when this gets heated up and this shrinks a little bit, which is what it'll do, um, oh, that's much clearer, then a lot of that adhesive is going to come out the edge. But, you know, this is tight enough that 
I can't shake it out, right? And that's what a lot of pads look like coming out of horns. Um, but in my opinion, that is a little bit too loose. Now I'll show you, this is another example of decent pad fit, I think. So it's just a little bit too tight to go in easily, but then there we go. That looks pretty good. And again, this looseness in the skin, you can iron that away. And it also sort of disappears on its own when you're heating it up. Uh, to float it. Now, there we go. I'll show you actually. So these are two pads of the same size, right? Let's see how this one fits. No, yeah, not bad, right? Pretty snug, decent. I mean, maybe there's a little bit of a gap. I might go for a slightly tighter fit, but all in all, that feels pretty good, right? And remember, this is the same size. Oh, whoops, that's the one I used earlier. Oh. That one's actually really loose inside this pad cup. It actually falls out, where the other one doesn't fall out. And these are the same size from the same manufacturer coming at the same time, right? So there's that individual pad variance that you get. That one falls out. This one stays in. And so that's why I think it's best to actually individually fit your pads, right? Because if you measured and you ordered and you got this one, you'd be pretty unhappy compared to if you got this one, but they are the same size pad. So that is what I think good pad fit looks like inside a key cup. A little snug, not so tight that the felt is buckling, but pretty darn snug. Um, if you've got a border like that, if you've got a gap around the edge, you're gonna have a bad time. That just won't seat very well. Um, it needs to be pretty snug to get the seating experience that you want. And this might look a little scary the first couple times you do it, but you'll see this just disappears every time. And I can rub my finger around here and I can feel that the felt is still flat. There's no buckling in the felt. It's just that this skin's been pushed up a little bit. And the resonator will hold that down and ironing will make that nice and flat. So that is what I think decent pad fit looks like. My name is Matt Storr. I repair saxophones for a living. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, concerns, comments, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. You can email me, give me a call, however you'd like to get in touch and check out the open source saxophone project if you haven't already. Thank you.